It's finally Friday, guys. It's April 3rd. And today, part of what we're doing with our whole school ride virtual spirit week is crazy fan and jersey day. So now I'm wearing my Steelers jersey. My apologies to all those Ravens, Bengals, and Browns fans out there. And anyone else who doesn't love the Steelers, that's fine. But today is also National Find a Rainbow Day. So as it's not raining, there's a pretty small chance we're going to find a rainbow. But if you do, please let me know. I'd be very, very interested to figure out where that is. So without further ado, we're going to get finished up with our citation. And then we're also going to talk a little bit about how to explain our answers. But the biggest thing I want to talk about right now is including our text evidence into our writing. So we're going to go back to the story that we did um, a few days ago. And that would be the passage about uh, persuading your parents to get you a kitten. So I'm going to, again, go back over a restate with you that I think is really solid. And then we're going to go back and we're going to find some text evidence that we think is going to fit in perfectly. So I also figured out how to make the text a lot bigger. So again, my other videos might not be as clear about what the text is. So I'm hoping that this works out really nicely. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to reread what the question is asking. And remember it said, why does? Well, we kind of cross that off to make sure we can do a restate. So something about the author includes the cost of raising a kitten, the passage. Here's what I would write for this restate. The author, right, we're using the same words, includes the cost, oops, apologies, the cost of raising a kitten, and I'll move this over for you guys in a second, because, no, this is because, this is telling the why, this is our answer, she wants parents to know uh, kittens, right, kittens are not very expensive but but they still cost some money so now let me see if i can scooch this guy over real quick maybe maybe not there we go we're gonna kind of make it into two different lines it's all right so that's my restate and answer. That's the one that I came up with, the one I'm crafted. Um, this is one that you can use, you can change it up however you want to. But now we finish a restate and answer. So I'm actually gonna draw up here. Oops, we'll see if this works. We're gonna see. Oh, probably should put it in the right color. I'm going to do this. Hey, okay. it really does not want me to draw this today. A, C, and I'm going to do this C, another C, and E. Maybe, yep, E. Okay, it doesn't look perfect, but we're going to go with it. So, the first thing I did is I wanted to make sure that I have it on my page because writing this on my page is gonna help me when I need to cross off what we've done. So the first thing we've already done is we've restated. The author includes, uh, right here, the author includes the cost of raising a kitten because this right here is our restate. So this is gonna be where we are talking about our restate. So we already did that, restate. Now, the answer is in the same sentence as a restate. It said, because she wants parents to know kittens are not very expensive, but they still cost money. So from here over, this, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's see if that's going to work. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. All of that, all the way down to here, is our answer. So anywhere in blue underlined with blue is our answer. So I'm gonna cross off this. We've done our answer already. Now I'm gonna get rid of these little guys just so we don't get very confused with it. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to do my citation. So we talked about that, we need to use our quotes. We need to go back in the text and we need to figure out what we can use from it to see um, what evidence we have to support up here. So we're gonna go up really quickly, okay. Right about 
here. A little bit more, we'll see, here we go, perfect. This is a paragraph right here that I found a lot of my sources in. So kittens are not too expensive. This is part of what we're talking about. So when I was reading it, I know one of the things I said is um, that they're shots, that they're, they're putting this in there because they wanted to make sure that they're pretty aware, that the parents are aware that there are some costs. It's not totally free, but it's really pretty inexpensive. So every year they need shots to help keep him or her healthy. So this can cost over $100. Let's just say it like this. So we'll do their exact thing. Every year your kittens will need shots to keep him or her healthy. This can cost over a hundred bucks. Okay, we're gonna use those exact words and I have them, I have it written down over here, but I will, you guys can go back up and forth and find it. Um, so I'm just gonna fill this in. And I'm gonna say in the text, it states, that every year a kitten will need shots, shots is more than one of them, which can cost over $100. Let's see if I got it. Right. Just wanna make sure we're using it right. Keep. So I said shots and then I said, and I kind of got rid of a little part of this. So I only really used for here and then this can cost over a hundred dollars. Instead of which, cause this is always good to go back and check. This can cost over a hundred dollars. Now notice that when I using my text, I put it in quotes. Cause I'm not, those are not my words, right? I went back and I used the author's words in this case. This is to, let's see. <laughs> So I'm not using my own words, so I have to put it in quotes. Have to, right? Now, that's my first site. That's all you have to do. You're just going back and saying, like, in the text it says, according to the author, and then you're going to put a quote, and you're going to use their exact words. So that's this one for me is kind of nice because all you're doing is going back in the text. If you can do that, you can do your citations. So now we've done one C. Now we have to finish with our other C. Okay. So you might want to make sure you say um, that they have to go and I'll go back up here and it says that they have to go to the veterinarian, right? So a lot of times, um, I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to use a different color again. I don't want you guys to be seeing too many colors and getting too confused, but we're just going to kind of get rid of things that maybe are going to distract us a little bit. So we're going to use green, okay? We're going to say sometimes kittens can become ill and they may need medicine from a veterinarian. That's going to be my second piece of evidence, okay? So sometimes, so we're going to have to come back and forth with this one. You can say, since I've already done one, you can say the text also states, or you could put the author says, states that kittens can also become ill. Let's go back up and see what it says to finish it off. Can become ill and they may need medicine from a veterinarian. Let's finish that. Become ill and they may need medicine. Ooh, excuse me, medicine from a veterinarian. Oops spell that right okay now that's all that you're gonna need to do for figuring out your text evidence that's it it's not supposed to be a very long and time-consuming thing it's just going back in the text and using the words the author has already provided for you that's all you're doing so now this one look at this I've got a whole other set of quotes well there you go there's C done right so now I want you to look right here because you can see here's my here's my one quote and it's pretty easy to see because I use quotation marks. I'm saying that this is the author's words. It's not coming out of my own mouth. It's coming out of their writing. So here's one quote. That's one text evidence. There's another quote, two text evidence, right? So 
it's when you guys are thinking about citing evidence, I know a lot of you guys get a little stuck on this one because it seems a little tricky and it is a little tricky, but if you break it down and you think of it just being as you're using the authors, you're kind of using their work to help make your argument a little bit stronger. So notice how our, or my uh, quotes that I picked actually go back and they tie into the answer and question that I was doing. So it's helping to support my answer. Now, the last thing, which I don't want to get into too much, because I really want you guys, when you're doing race, I want you to focus on the R, A, and the C. The E is just explaining that. So that's something along the lines of, and I'm not going to write this one because I want you guys to think of your own, but it's something along the lines of these, or this, ta or these texts, these quotes, help show that cats can be expensive, but, you know, it, but it's not too expensive. Or you could say, you know, the, or these quotes help show that, and you can go back and look at what you wrote at the beginning, help show that raising a kitten is not very expensive, but they still cost money. You're just kind of going back up to what you were saying and finishing it out. So again, today I just want to focus on the citation. We'll kind of talk about evidence or explaining a little bit more in detail, but for now, I want you guys to focus on this. It's simply going, it's the only thing that takes the most time is going back up to the text and going back down and writing it. But this is all you need to do is just two citations. That is it. Don't try three. Don't try four. Just do two. Okay? So that should be it for citations. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out about those. But I want you to go make sure you're going on right now. And I want you to do your Google quiz. And I want you guys to show what you know. This is not a pressure thing. And I just wanted to see what you guys might need extra help with. So don't be really upset. I mean, it's going to be tough, but if you are really worried about the grade, that's not what I want you to focus on right now. I want you to focus on trying to show me what you might need help with or maybe what uh, you guys got and we can move on from that one. All right. So I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Go and do